May 2007, prior to the arrival of the vessel Guardian, the initial works coordination meeting is held in order to analyze the main safety aspects of the project. Once the gas-free testing is completed, the vessel heads for Navantia's facilities where the repair work gets immediately underway. Following Guardian's last dry docking in the summer of 2006 when cracks were found on the main engine plate, a lengthy engineering operation began that eventually resulted in ConocoPhillips assigning the bed plate renewal contract to Navantia in April 2007. Once the vessel is moored, the production department swings into action. Work immediately gets underway round the clock on the dismantling process. Pistons, connecting rods, crosshead assemblies, cylinders, liners, cylinder heads and all other internal and external elements are removed for being checked in the workshop by the shipyard staff and with the expert supervision and excellent collaboration of a skilled team of technicians formed by Vartzilla's engineers, the vessel's crew and the owner's representatives. The arrival and intermediate storage of the new bed plate is one of the first milestone events to be crossed out in this project. Meanwhile, on board, the dismantling work continues. Once sufficient parts have been removed, work commences on assembling the structure and equipment necessary to lift the engine and to remove the bed plate. This frame structure has been specially designed to hoist the upper section of the engine and the crankshaft separately using two pairs of powerful hydraulic jacks. With a total lifting capacity of 340 tons, it features a dual protection mechanism consisting of safety beams positioned underneath the load, allowing for works to be carried out underneath in complete safety conditions. Once the upper section of the engine and the crankshaft have been hoisted up, the vessel is moved to the dock, where the bed plate is carefully slid into position. A turntable is used to guide the mount towards the opening in the hull. The skidways inside the machine and the dock are then connected. Made up of Teflon sheets on steel guides, those skidways permit the controlled movement of the 60-ton mount even over slightly uneven terrain or gradients. In 
enabling the removal of damaged bed plate. And the insertion of the new one. Once the new bed plate is in position, the crankshaft is lowered and the landing surfaces checked. Then the upper section of the engine is lowered. All the internal and external elements that had been previously removed are assembled. Followed by the alignment and later fitting of the resin shocks. It was also necessary to machine the shaft flange in place in order to correct the initial lack of contact found between this element and the engine one. Once the final touches are complete, checks and trials are carried out on the various systems involved, as well as a series of other commissioning tasks such as the centering of the shaft seals. Following the success of the mooring trials, it's now time to sail away for the sea trials. During which all the navigation and engine parameters were satisfactorily verified to comply with the vessel's as-built specifications. This marked the completion of 70 days work at Navantia's facilities, with the pride of not only having ensured the satisfaction of our client, but also that of the team of professionals that worked side by side to guarantee the successful completion of this project.